side of the road back there. A Ute? He's sleeping on the side of the road. Ah, uh, poor bastard. Lazy sons of bitches. Told him not to sleep there. I never heard. Well, it's day three of the turkey assault. We have switched from static sniper positions to mobile sniper team tactics, AKA run and gun. Had a little bit of success with it yesterday. Got on some birds. Learned some lessons. Learned some lessons. It's uh, it's all out warfare against these birds. They're the enemy. We're the soldiers. We need to overcome. Who are the turkey's friends? We're gonna enlist their help. We're gonna enlist the help of the deer, who are uh, alliances off. with the turkeys, but they're pay them off in corn. Yeah, we're gonna pay them off in corn. Snitch them out. Snitch them out. We're gonna get word where they're at. Do a see and tell. Yeah, they're even gonna set them up. They're gonna be Judas's. We're gonna turn them in. Five camels of corn. Five pieces of golden corn. We're gonna so, sell the turkeys out. Two. Deer cheap. Two things on our tactical turkey plan. Our TTP tactical turkey plan. Toilet paper. Tactical uh, tactical. One is. All operations need to have communications. Failure in communication is a failure of the operation. Yesterday we had a failure of communication due to Jer Bear not being properly geared up with his communication device. Not my fault. <laughs> it is his fault. He, uh, well, it's just, the problem that you have is trying to text message in real time just doesn't work relying on the cell towers and receiving and sending back. Radio communication is the best, especially when you're trying to cut off some turkeys. We tried to triangulate them yesterday. Uh, they kept sneaking past us. There are some sneaky bastards, some little turkeys. So today we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna set up on some positions about where we were last night and see if they just come wandering by. Uh, doesn't mean that we won't switch to some running gun if we catch something along the road out on the state land area and we'll see if we can uh, bail out, gear up and get into position and see if we can move them. Hopefully the hens are on the nest now. The toms will be wandering. So we'll go give a, a ride around and see if anything's on the move and if something's on the move we'll set up for it and if not then we'll just set up some positions do some light calling and see if we can't lure a these, these toms aren't, these jakes, they're not goblin. You just gotta think you're gonna have to sit for a bit and do some little light calling just to let them know you're in the area and see if that don't bring them in. You know, I think it's about the only option you got. If you, if you don't see anything within half an hour or so, get up and move in a little deeper or move a little further or whatever it might take. They don't to vocalize them. What do you think, Victor Killer? Find the birds? Turkey session. That's our runner, right there. Yeah, run. That's what I do. Run around. Yep, that's good. It's good for him. Got young legs. It's good for you. Got all the eggs in you. Hey, we got some video yesterday. Try to get set up. Ah. We'll see if we can get something today. All okay. right. So with modern technology, we're uh. What? Yeah, this is uh, unfortunately what we got coming on. The internet's slow, so we're not quite seeing it, but we're just catching the front end of this. We were weighing some options about going to a coop line, but we pretty much think with that that hard rain coming behind it, that thunderstorm, that these birds aren't going to move right now. So we're uh, we're Do making a we can do a little bit of run and gun, but you know, we're that dot right there in the middle of that strip, and then we got all that rain coming behind it. So, we're we'll gonna be going back to camp, batting down the hatches, and make sure that uh, everything's tight there. And we got a good feeling nothing's gonna be moving. So, here we are at it again. We got about an hour to hunt. Rain stopped, 
So we're going to go hunker down for an hour and see what we can come up with. You think you're hiding on us, but you're not. I can see your dupa. I can see his face. Hi, buddy. Your grunt is horrible. It's working. No, it's not. Hey. Hey. Come here. Pull up a little bit. There he is. Hey, buddy. I was just gonna eat. I was just sit here and God. get some food. That's a stall over there, so across the street. Huh. And that's as far as you wanted to go? There's four of them. That's it? Have you ever noticed that when you're hunting one oh, species, you see all the other species that you like to hunt just in the wrong season? <laughs> uh, we saw more deer Put your hand out the and game and say, now. Yeah. No, that we hunt again. later in the season in the early season, during turkey season. And then of course come deer season, we see nothing but turkey. Come here. Uh, we did come here. spot this other bird. This is going back to our, our camp, uh, the property, which we kind of had permission to maybe hunt and kind of not. It was really unclear whether we could hunt it or not. Uh, there were birds, turkeys roosting in the trees right on the property. Uh, it was alleged that there was a... Hey buddy. Uh, ten, come on, come on, come on, come on. 10 inch bearded Tom somewhere around there uh, but we didn't quite have a clear message from the hey, landowner to be able to shoot those birds so we videotaped them and almost ran over them a couple of times coming into and out of camp as they were coming into and out of roost but uh, we did get them on camera That's gone. and we Ooh, can see that turkeys do roost up in the trees just not where we hunt them